All right, guys, I tried to go live yesterday, or was it the day before? I can't remember now, but it was about this dog, and I wanted to tell you all about her. Um, I was at a barn, and uh, my phone, I couldn't um, get enough connection to go live. So this is um, the little girl. Her name is Annie. Hi, Annie. And... Her story is, is really, really sad. Um, she is actually petrified of everybody right now, and for good reasons. Um, she had an owner, and the owner was really good to her. Um, the only thing is she was with her mother, um, her mother dog, and another sibling. Now, the owner passed away and the mother dog was taken away to the SPCA and the other sibling also. And there was a few cats and they were also taken. And this one, um, she escaped and was just roaming the property. And when I say roaming the property, there was uh, about 40 acres of land where her owner, um, her human owner was taking walks along the property. So, she escaped and was just basically following his footsteps and trying to find him, which was really, really sad. So I did go up, uh, I think, four times. And uh, finally, one of, the, one of the family members was able to corner her in the barn. And uh, once she got cornered, uh, I came and I tried to uh, rope her. Um, and I've never seen a dog so smart. The second I roped her, within 10 seconds, she cut through the rope uh, with her teeth. And I swear, you couldn't do it that quick with a knife. But uh, she snapped at me once. And she's just scared. She's not vicious. She's just really, really scared. And I did have to set up the live trap. We finally caught her in the live trap. And I brought her here. So now it's a matter of her. Uh, she's been here since last night, around, I don't know, 8 o'clock or something. She has not touched her food, and I've tried everything. I've tried wieners. So this is, um, it's going to take a little time for her to trust me. So anyways, that's my story. We're away she was yelping for her and my first reaction was to find the mom and yeah find the mother and basically um reunite them but from what i was told the mother would attack her um, because she kept following her really close by all the time so she's just very insecure okay it's okay no no don't run don't She's going to try to hide. Hi, big girl. It's okay. You're okay. You're okay. I won't hurt you. There. You're okay. She breaks my heart. <laughs> no food. You haven't eaten. I know. Big big mats right there, and her tail is kind of full of mats, and, and behind her ears here, I was feeling. See, that's just a big mat. Hmm. Okay. Um, this is actually. Her owner that passed away <clears throat> it was a really bad accident but we did manage to um, get his hat and it has his smell because uh, it hasn't been that long see right away she reacts to it yeah so I've tried rubbing as weird as the sound I've tried rubbing this smell all over me hoping that she would is that your hat? Yeah, I know. 
This is what she's been doing. Putting her face in the corner. You know, and some people think animals don't have feelings. I beg to differ. Hi guys. Um, so I'm happy to report that I ate last night, but uh, I decided to uh, show you how literally scared she is. I my bathroom is over there where she was, and I decided this morning to basically pull her out so I could spend time with her and let her see the environment and stuff. But uh, <laughs> this is what I got. And whenever you put a leash or anything on her, she drops completely to the floor. And you have to drag her. I'm going to try to take her out of here, but I just want to show you guys. She's okay. Come on. I won't hurt you. Come here. You're okay. It's okay. Okay. Yeah, you can't stay in that corner. Hi. Why are you hiding? You're okay. Hi. It's okay. It's okay. See? It's okay. It's okay. Whenever I try to bring her anywhere, she refuses to get up. And this is what she does, and I hate bug it. Oh, there, there, got her up. No, 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 no. Don't go high. Oh, it's okay, baby. It's okay. All right. Well, I just want to show you guys how how she is. Still no progress in uh, trusting me, but we're working on it. Have a good day. She's eating better. Um, she actually had a full bowl last night. She was actually raised in like a pen in a barn. And ever since we rescued her, um, she has not pooped at all. And she first, for the first time, she peed last night. Um, basically, what I was told is. Is she depressed? Yeah, she is. She's she's very depressed. So anyways, when the owner passed away, um, um, but not her, they were able to pick up the mum and one of the siblings. But when they took the mum away, I guess she was crying like crazy, this one. But she got away from them. So she was just roaming the property and they couldn't catch her. And sadly enough, she was following her owner's footsteps and spelling where he had last gone right and my first impression was to you know trap her get her and get the mother but i was told that the mother was really aggressive with her so there's a few things going on um being in the house environment is very new to her uh losing her owner she's very sad about that losing her mother she's very sad about that that's a very sad story. Um, yeah, no, she did eat. What she's been eating is the only thing, and I mean, I've tried everything. I've tried cheese, macaroni, hamburg, bacon, you name it. Uh, treats, dog treats. And oh, oh, um, the only thing that she's actually eaten is the wet food for um, sensitive stomachs. It has to be the one of the most sad and scared dog I've ever met in my 13, 14 years of rescuing. Tell you what guys, um, if I do bring her in the pen, what I'll do is I'll uh, not too hard and it, if she's not too stressed in there I'll I'll go live again and let you see what's going on I was thinking about sending her to the vet even but just the 
the stress of bringing her to the vet. Like you guys, she's really hard to move around. I mean, if anybody has any ideas of anything, send me a message and I'm I'm all ears. <laughs> Uh, I'm all ears. I just want to make her feel okay. okay. All right, guys, I'm gonna let you go, and, and and just so you're all aware, I try not to bother her too much. The only reason I want to bring her. Anyways, I wanted to let you know. I have her in this room, and I don't let anybody bother her. I spend time with her, but I give her lots of room. I lay down w way back there. And I'm going to try to get her in a pen outside, get some fresh air. And I won't push her too much because I don't want to stress her, but, I mean, she hasn't pooped in like three days. Annie. <laughs> this is what she does. She won't really look at you, but kind of just sides, just gives you a side look. I brought my dogs in and she would just show them her teeth. pen today just I don't know she she's never been inside of a house so I'm thinking everything is new right now right so I'm hoping the pen will will help but I'd never leave her alone in the pen I'm gonna go in with her and stay maybe an hour or so yeah she's very sweet this one too but very scared if I if I was to get up right now and walk towards the door and then walk towards her, watch, I'll show you guys, okay? Oh, maybe. I don't want to do it. She, she, like, panics. She might not do it today. But... Good girl. She's a good girl. <laughs> I'm going out, okay? Bring it. You okay? All right. Oh, progress. I love it. Because, oh, she's looking at it. See that little corner right there? Usually if I move towards the door and I move back, she will hide behind the toilet over there. And today she's not. She's a good girl. She was a good girl. Good girl, Annie. I really hope so. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go, and I'll update you on her a little later. Have a good day.